Caitlin Clark, wow, what a phenom she has been for women's sports, particularly in women's college basketball. Just wow. This is Sports Guy talking that you guys are watching and listening to. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am here today to talk about Caitlin Clark having her last opportunity to win a national championship for Iowa. Remember, Caitlin Clark is already the greatest icon ever in women's college basketball history, and winning a national championship would only cement her legacy even further. The only thing Caitlin Clark has never done so far at the collegiate level is winning a national championship. Before I say anything else though, I want to present you guys with the type of question. So, here it is. Will Caitlin Clark win a national championship this season? I certainly hope so. I am rooting for Caitlin Clark and Iowa to finally win a national championship this season. Caitlin Clark is one of the best stories in not just women's sports, but in all of the sports world that is going on. She has been an incredible icon for sports in general. You look at how she has turned women's college basketball into a mainstream event. You know how hard it is for people to watch women's basketball well Caitlin Clark has totally changed the dynamics of their target audience and now they got a lot of people watching women's college basketball do I think it will be sustainable for the sport not necessarily I think they just want to watch the games because of Caitlin Clark not necessarily because they find women's college basketball entertaining me personally I don't care a whole ton about women's college basketball it's just not my thing I respect people who are interested in it but it's just not my thing to get interested in it but Caitlin Clark is one of the most interesting players in all of college basketball basketball when you look at Caitlin Clark you're thinking female Steph Curry you're thinking about how she could shoot those 30 foot three point shots easily like it's nothing for her and I find it interesting that Iowa is going to be put in the hardest bracket to get to the final four because you look at all of these teams that are in March Madness for women's college basketball some of them have easier roads than others but Iowa's got it pretty tough the thing with Iowa is though they're a great three point shooting team they're great offensively and Caitlin Clark is one of the greatest players to have ever played women's college basketball when I look at the bracket for Iowa in women's college basketball, I still think they can go ahead and win the national championship this season. I'm confident that they're going to get past the first round. I think they can beat either the winner of West Virginia or Princeton. I think they can get past that as well. I think they can also get past Colorado or Drake or maybe Kansas State or Portland. Hopefully, they don't have to play Kansas State because Kansas State is a pretty good basketball team. But if they have to play against Kansas State, I'm still confident Iowa is going to get past them. Iowa is a great basketball team. Caitlin Clark is a phenom. She is great at everything she does. She's great at shooting the three-point ball. She's great at passing the ball. She's like Magic Johnson and Larry Bird combined into one with a little Steph Curry in her, except obviously she's a female version, not a male version. My point is Caitlin Clark is a phenomenal basketball player. And I'm getting sick and tired of those people that are trying to diminish Caitlin Clark's accomplishments. You look at Cheryl Swoops talk about women's college basketball. She goes ahead and trashes Caitlin Clark because of the fact that she had an extra year, which by the way, isn't even true. True, but she goes ahead and rambles on about that on the Gilbert Arenas podcast, Roll the Film. If you're going to break a record, to me, if it's legitimate, you have to break that record in the same amount of time that that player set it. Okay. In, right? So if, if Kelsey Plum set that record in four years, mm -hmm. well, Caitlin should have broke that record in four years. But because there's a COVID year, and then there's another year, you know what I mean? So she's already had an extra year to break that record. So is it truly a broken record? Talk about being able to spread lies throughout the mainstream media. Are you kidding me, Cheryl Swoops? Why are you lying about Caitlin Clark? Look, she has no reason to lie about Caitlin Clark's accomplishments unless she has a hidden agenda, which I believe is truly the case. I think she is jealous of Caitlin Clark's success because of the fact that Caitlin Clark is not a black woman. And obviously, we know how some of these people feel when it comes to the game of basketball in terms of how the white person should be playing the game of basketball versus a black person of basketball. Some people feel like the game of basketball is for blacks only. I obviously don't believe that. I believe that's flawed logic, but some of these people clearly believe that. And Cheryl Swoops is no different than those racist black basketball players that are out there that believe that the game of basketball is only for black people. Obviously, she was willing to state lies about Caitlin Clark's accomplishments. I looked up Caitlin Clark's statistics because of the fact that I was curious to see when did she join college basketball. And clearly, she didn't get the extra year because of COVID because her first year in college basketball was in the 2020 through 2021 college basketball season. So obviously, she didn't 
get the benefit of an extra year. And even if that were true, so what? She broke the record. Give her her props. Give her her credit. She's a phenomenal basketball player. She can shoot the three ball well. She can pass the basketball really efficiently. She's great at getting triple doubles. She's a hustler on defense as well. She's done everything you could have possibly asked out of her. Look, Caitlin Clark is averaging almost 32 points a game. So whenever you have a player that's averaging that many points at the collegiate level, that's really impressive. That's even more impressive that she's doing that in college than some of the players in the NBA because of the fact that the college game is slower paced compared to the NBA. Everybody knows that in the NBA, there's more possessions that are being made. And obviously the pace of the game is slower in women's college basketball. So for Caitlin Clark to score as many points as she has, that makes the accomplishment even more impressive in and of itself. I mean, I also want to talk about some of the records that Caitlin Clark also has as well. You talk about how Caitlin Clark has achieved most 30 point games ever by any man or woman in division one in the past 25 seasons. That's really impressive. That tells me she's putting the ball in the basket and that she's playing efficient basketball as well. She's also a great passer as well. If you don't believe me, you can look at the Big Ten record for women's college basketball. She's the all-time leader in assists. She obviously has the all-time score record in Big Ten history and she obviously is the score leader for division one basketball for both men's and women's. So I mean, she's really good at what she does. She also has the record for most three-point shots ever made by any male or female division one player. So that's pretty impressive in and of itself. And of course, she's also scored a thousand points in two different seasons. So that tells me she is putting the ball in the basket as well. And look, I could go on and on, but I think you guys get the point. Kayla Clark has been a phenom at the collegiate level for women's basketball, and she's been a national treasure. The only thing she hasn't done yet in her amazing career is winning a national championship, but they're going to get the job done this year. I'm confident they're going to get the job done because of the fact that Kayla Clark has been through her difficult trials, because of the fact that Kayla Clark is determined to win a national championship this year. And if they can somehow get to the final four with their schedule, who knows? Maybe they'll have a chance against LSU, a team that beat them last year in the national championship game. So we'll see what happens. That's going to be a great rivalry with her and Angel Reese. And then if they get to the national championship game, I think they'll go play against South Carolina. Obviously, Don Staley is a controversial head coach at South Carolina. That's going to be a great rivalry as well. It's going to be a great test. Hopefully, Caitlin Clark in Iowa is going to get the job done. I'm rooting for Iowa big time. I want to show you guys this other clip about what Cheryl Soups had to say about Caitlin Clark. She also stated other lies about her role of film. Caitlin Clark right now probably takes about 40 shots a game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> I know you like that. Yeah, yeah. I said that because when she comes to the league, regardless of what team she goes to that has vets on that team, mm. she probably ain't going to get 40 shots a game. Well, y'all don't get to, st they don't get to stand on the number one. I said she, she, she might, but I don't, I'm, I'm the one picking up. This is my team. They don't, get to, oh, they don't get to do that over there, huh? Are you serious, Cheryl Swoops? What are you talking about? How is Caitlin Clark averaging 40 shots a game when that never happened? Caitlin Clark is not a ball hogger at all. That's the equivalency of Kendrick Perkins saying that Nikola Jokic padded up his stats. But why am I not surprised Cheryl Swoops is saying that about Caitlin Clark? It's their MO to race bait like that. And obviously, Caitlin Clark is a great basketball player. Even if she never wins a national championship, that should not diminish her accomplishments at the collegiate level. She's already the greatest icon ever in women's college basketball history. And if she wins a title, that'll be even better for her hopefully she'll win a title for Iowa. They're ready to win a national championship right now. And obviously, Iowa has to take advantage of this opportunity to win a national championship since they have a generational talent and Caitlin Clark. She's fantastic at what she does. I am rooting for the big time. They're going to get the job done. We'll see what happens though. They've got some tough tests ahead of them, but if they can get past those, they can win the national championship. They just got to lock in and play really good basketball for a good stretch in the March Madness bracket because if they do, they're going to win the national championship this year. Let's go, Iowa. I'm rooting for them big time and I want to see Caitlin Clark finish out her collegiate career with a national championship. So that is why Caitlin Clark will end up leading Iowa into winning a national championship this season as she will finally become a national champion at the collegiate level. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking, like the video, and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That will be for the at Dustin S. Tran Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin S. Tran and that Sports Guy Talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin S. Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope 
you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? Make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.